My creator, my creator, ain't nothing greater than my creator. This is our world. Whatever we dream becomes real. Wow. Welcome back to GMA3. That was the latest music from one of hip-hop's greatest storytellers. From his groundbreaking collabs to his commitment to social justice and advocacy, he is on a mission to be a force for change. And he's with us now to break down the message behind the beats on his new album, James and Nikki, A Conversation. Give it up for Grammy Award winning artist and activist, Jay Ryan Best Smith is in the house. Hey. With the white Air Force Ones on, clean, on, coming man. in here, still in the show, you gotta man. Be fresh, bro. You, you have to be fresh. First, you congratulations, be you right? Fresh. Right? Congratulations on the new album. You deserve it so much. Mm -hmm. This all stems from a conversation in 1971, a famous conversation. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it and why was it important to release it now, especially during Black History Month? So, so this project, I call it a composition. This project, James and Nikki, stems from an iconic conversation in 1971 between James Baldwin mm -hmm. and Nikki Giovanni. When I look back at that conversation, what I saw was a gay man, a bi woman, a teacher, a student, two poets. They were talking to each other, though, as man and wife as student and teacher, as poet to poet. They were talking about interpersonal relationships, healing, society, and the role that they play in being prophets of the future. One of the things James Baldwin said in this uh, conversation, he said, we have a responsibility to the words that we say and that those words that we say have to mean something in the lives of others, mm. have to motivate and, and help make better the lives of others. When I saw James Baldwin say that, I said, this is not my album. This is their album. They have to be the base, the foundation. And, and I, built, I built this project from the base of the love of James Baldwin and Nikki Giovanni. Wow, that is so yeah. powerful. Yeah, yeah, so powerful. That, yeah. that, that statement that our, we are responsible for our words. Mm -hmm. This is more than just music. Yes. What are you hoping that people take away from it when they hear it? You know, this project came at a special time. It's dropping now in Black History Month. It's being released now. I don't like the word drop. It's being released <laughs> in Black History Month. But what I pray is that it's a conversation that opens up something between fathers and sons about how to deal with relationships. It's a conversation that you can have in the car on the way to school, dropping your kids off. It's something that a husband and a wife can talk about what does it mean to forgive one another, to have divine love and not just routine love. It starts with the conversation. It starts with that. So how can we use culture to make change, not just mm. here in the U.S., but across the entire world? You know, culture, what I've been learning, uh, DeMarco, is that culture has currency. And we have to use the currency of our culture to teach others, to, sh to bring others in. So I'll give you an example. Uh, for 15 years, uh, Congressman John Conyers was trying to get a national holiday for Dr. Martin Luther King. It wouldn't pass by Reagan. It wouldn't pass by Senator Helms. But Stevie Wonder made a song called Happy Birthday to mm -hmm. ya. Happy Birthday. Bur yeah. One year later, Senator Helm said, by tyranny of majority, we have to pass a national Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. What did that do? That was the culture of music that inspired people to open their hearts to politics. I feel like we just went to church. I, I, I think we did, Eva. <laughs> I really think we did. Uh, we can't let you go without a little freestyle. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to just say something off the top of the head. I don't know what I'm going to say, but okay, let's do it like this. Um, black and yellow, black and brown, black and blue. When I see Jennifer dance, I see the black in you. Early in the morning, early in the morning, every time we take up, Coffee in the cup, GMA when we wake up. <laughs> black and brown, black and yellow, black and blue. When I see DeMarco dance, I can see the black in you. Great entertainment and the interviews too. Out of GMA, man, it's coming out the blue. I love the black in me and I love the black in you. I can see the black in Eva when I see Eva dance too. Oh, I love <laughs> Creators it. out now, everybody go view and watch GMA. Everything is brand new. Oh. <laughs>
Dude, that is money right there. Yeah. We really love you, man. We appreciate just... you so much. Thank you so and much. everything that you've done for the culture, really. Thank you. Oh, man, y'all make me want to keep rapping. Happy <laughs> February. Peace <laughs> to Giovanni, too. James Baldwin, too. And Langston Hughes. <laughs> and it's up. All right, folks, again, thank you so much thank for being you. with us. We appreciate it. And James and Nikki, a conversation is available everywhere that music is sold and streamed. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.